So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of tasks. And then what you may want to do is sometimes you may want to inactivate some of the tasks and then reactivate them later on. So if you don't want to completely delete out a task, then you can inactivate them. Then they'll be removed out from the task list right here. And they'll be uh, uh, not counted in the uh, uh, Gantt chart as well. So to do that over here, you can see there's brainstorming, storyline, script writing and storyboarding. And let's say I want to go around and deactivate the storyboarding right here. So once you click on the task right here, we can see on the top when you go around onto the task tab, you can see inactivate is an option. If you were to go around and click right here, then the task is inactivated as you can see right here. So as soon as I do this, you can see that the deadline changes out as well for the overall main task right here. But over here, you can see that this is inactivated. You can still go around over here and edit out these uh, dates as you like uh, over here, even in the inactivated task. Let's say, for example, I don't want to do the budget revision meeting, then I can just go around and inactivate this as well. But the data is there. And if you want to go around and reactivate it, all you need to do is select the task out once again and then click on the inactivate button, which is pressed on. You can just go around and unpress it right here and the uh, tasks are reactivated again. And that is how you can inactivate and reactivate tasks inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.